Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I am going to show you how to get this entire look as well as hair. And I do, I do talk about it later. It's not much of a hair tutorial, but it's basically how I make my hair not frizzy and look a little bit, a little bit more healthy and a little bit more cool. And I'm also going to show you how to create this entire makeup look. This look is actually one that I did last week in the vlog and you guys really wanted to see it. So this is me creating the tutorial for you. Yeah, it's just basically my go-to everyday makeup. I've got a couple of meetings today. So so this is exactly how I like to look when I go to meetings, but you can also wear it whenever you want. If you would like to see how I created this look, then please stay tuned. Hello. So this is me, I've just woke up, so I'm a bit... But we're going to tie this hair out of the way. This is crazy. So this is basically what happens when I wash my hair and then let it air dry. I do put some products in it to try and keep it healthy, but I'm going to show you guys how I fix it in like five minutes. Let's start with our face. This makeup I did in last week's vlog. It is pretty much like my standard go-to everyday makeup. I've got a few new products here to try though and it is really really quick and it's still like super glam. It's mostly skin focused like most of my looks these days but we're just gonna jump right in. I'm gonna run through skincare really quickly because there's three products I use in the morning that make a huge difference. First is my Kiehl's Iris Extract Activating Treatment Essence. I've spoken about this a few times. You just get like two drops on your hands, rub them together, push that in. Then I use my Daily Driving Concentrate Oil from Kiehl's. Everyone knows that I love this. It's so good. I've used this for, I don't know, months and months and months. So I just rub my hands together and push that in. And then lastly, I've been using this new moisturiser. This is Lala Retro Whipped Cream Moisturiser from Drunk Elephant. This stuff's brilliant. It's really nice and light and it's got one of those pump actions so you just push down and then whatever product you get is enough for your whole face and neck. So I'm just gonna rub that together in my hands, push that into my skin and then down my neck. And that is pretty much all I use in the mornings. Really, really simple. Keeps my skin not too clogged up and fresh. We're going to go in with the Fenty Pro Filter Soft Matte Instant Retouch Primer. What a name. And one pump of that is fine. I've been using this pretty much every single day. And I'm just going to put that in the centre areas. Oh my god, I cannot wait to put makeup on today. And I just like to rub that into the centre areas right over my nose as well. Chin and my forehead. Okay, for foundation, I'm gonna go in with my NARS Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. Yay much. The pumps on this are really small, so you need about four of them. And then I'm just gonna put that on with my Iconic London Buffing Brush. I really like this brush. And I got a few comments from you guys last week in the vlog asking what foundation I've been wearing, and I have pretty much been wearing this. I'm trying to get my hands on darker shades of my YSL All Hours foundation because I really do love that too. And I wanna kinda properly test out what one's my favorite favourite out of those two but this is amazing. I just went and dampened my Real Techniques brush because I forgot how much I liked it with this foundation and I feel like it goes on really quickly. I'm going to zoom you in a little bit. I'm going to add some coverage now with my concealer. This is the Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Concealer from Laura Mercier. This is brand new and this is the shade 3W. Let's try this out. Feels quite creamy. When I'm gonna go over my lid. We're just gonna blend that in. Wow. Feels a lot more hydrating than the Tarte. It's made my eyes look about this small now though. So we're gonna go in with some powder. I'm gonna go in with my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. You guys know that I absolutely love this stuff. I really do recommend it. I know that it's kind of more high end, but it is just so gorgeous. I'm just gonna set that like I usually would. Now I'm gonna go in with the Hula Quickie Contour Stick. I've used this whenever I'm doing full glam every time since the Maldives because I finally tried it out. So good. So I just literally chuck it on like that. There's not much method there. Maybe I'll try blending it out with this. Well, that makes it really quick and easy. Next, I'm going to take my Butter Bronzer, my new Faith Bay, and I'm going to chuck that on with my Smith 118 brush. And this just adds a little bit more warmth and it sets that contour as well. And I just kind of bronze up all the usual areas on my face. And since I started using it, loads of you guys have picked it up or loads of you guys have said that you love it too. And it's just excellent. Next thing I'm going to go in with is my MAC powder. This is the shade 
Shadester, it's called, and it's actually called a highlighting powder, which is a little bit misleading. It's a little bit misleading because obviously it's a contour powder, but they call it a highlight powder. And I'm just going to go in with the same brush, get a little bit of that, and then just contour at the very back. It's like a more three dimensional if you use more shades to contour. I'm going to use a tiny touch of that to just bronze the sides of my nose. And you guys know I just use a big brush for this. Nothing too serious. And then underneath. Now under here, this is called Shade Sir, and then this one is the Highlighting Powder in Light Sweep. This is number 105 brush from Zoeva, and I'm just going to use that underneath the contour, and that just kind of cleans it up a little bit. You can use that just under the eyes, just to mattify a little bit more and highlight. I'm really excited for my highlight today, so I'm not going to do that quite yet, but I'm going to go in with my eyes now. Dead excited. I've got the Naked Petite Heat, and this is just such a cute little palette, and you can see it's all just really wearable neutrals. It's going to be so good for me travelling, I think. So I'm going to go in with the shade Hot Spell first, which is just this one. Okay, this is just a little blank canvas brush, and I'm going to go in with that Hot Spell colour. And this look is super natural on the eyes, but it's just enough definition to carry off the lash and to make the look look really complete. The look look? The look look complete. And another thing is you don't really need to go that dark with this eye, which makes it really easy. And I'm doing it before my eyebrows because I want to. And I'm just using my usual window wiper strokes. And I'm going to use a slightly more dense brush in the same shade mixed with Wild Thing, which is just here, just to go underneath the eye. Oh yeah. I just realised I didn't zoom you in, you guys. Whee! So I'm going to do the same thing on the other side, just hot spell and wild thing mixed together. And then I'm going to carry that wild thing shade, this really orangey one, just up into the crease a little bit. And that is just my everyday smoky eye. It's just enough definition, using nice warm shades, but it's just so easy. So the product I've got here for highlighting is new to me. Really excited to try it out. This is the Dull Light Shine Bright, which is the darker shade. This is just so cute. I'm sure this is like, it started off like an Instagram brand, but you can get it in Topshop now. So when I was in Topshop, the lovely girl gave me like a bag of stuff to try because long story short, I got given a bag at an event Someone stole it, they gave me some more stuff which is really nice, but this highlighter is meant to be unbelievable. So this is the shade Shine Bright, and I'm just going to use it with a little Zoeva powder fusion brush. You know I love this brush, the 134. Let's spray our face first. I'm just going to use my All Nighter, this is the new Pollution Protection one. And I'm going to go in with this. Oh. Jeez. That's some real highlighting. That is absolutely beautiful. I'm going to just do the usual bits. Forehead just above the arch of my brow. I'm going to swap over to a smaller brush and just do the tip of my nose. Cupid's bow. And then my brow bone as well. That's pretty good. I'm going to just quickly warm up my face again. So this is the MAC 150 brush, just a big huge powder brush. I'm going to go back in. Just after applying that highlighter, blend everything together. That's crazy. Let's do our eyebrows. Back in we go. Okay, so the way I've been doing my eyebrows is really easy. It's just using my Benefit Precisely My Brow Pencil in the shade number four. I'm just gonna brush through my eyebrow and then with this new super blonde hair, I actually really like a dark eyebrow. I remember even when I was really young, I used to look at girls with really, really blonde hair and dark eyebrows and think they look just so cool. So I'm gonna just use this pencil to define the front and then join in with the natural brow. So I kind of bring that a little bit lower and then on the arch I actually bring that higher. And then I just slightly extend, right? So that's it really rough, roughly done. I'm going to just fill in the middle part and then I love to use the spoolie just to brush through and make sure the product's all even. I'm just going to use little strokes in the front. And you can see the difference, like it is way darker. What you can do is you can get a little bit of concealer just poop it, poop it, <laughs> put it on the back of your hand. I've got a little angle brush here and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to really neaten it up underneath. I'm just going to make sure that's a solid line first. Grab a little bit of that concealer, not too much, and then we're just going to tidy that up. 
And then I'm going to use my 3D Brow Tones. This is actually in the shade number two, also from Benefit. And I'm going to just comb through the hairs. And this actually makes them look a wee bit lighter because it's got that kind of goldy reflex through it. The brush is actually really, really good for getting the little brow hairs at the front. And that is a severe brow. Okay, and I'm just going to do the same thing on the other side. I'll do it on camera, but I won't talk you through it. Okay, it looked crazy just now, but just bear with me. I've got my lashes with glue on. I'm using the Lily Lashes in the style Miami. And I'm just going to chuck on some mascara. This is the new Iconic London Mascara. I don't know what's happened in the industry at the moment, but I think someone's got like a new mascara formula because this stuff's absolutely brilliant. And so is the new Benefit one as well. Like I feel like everyone's just got this amazing formula for mascara now. And it's really good for bottom eyelashes as well which is obviously super important to me. I love a big thick bottom lash. By the way, if you ever get mascara on your skin, you just let it dry and then use a wee spoolie and it just comes off. Top tip. I feel like because I use such thick eyelashes, I can get away with a really dark brow because my lashes are so black. It kind of takes away from the darkness of the brow. How gorgeous are they though? I'm just going to use my Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude Lip Liner, which is one of my faves. It's a really, really nice colour. And I'm going to use my Maybelline Superstay Matte Ink Unnude Lip Colour in the shade Driver. This is one of my new favourite all-time nudes. It is so nice. I overdrew my lips a lot today because I feel like it. flawless. And then I just need to do my little freck freck, my freckle, just underneath my eyeball. Okay, now that makeup's done, it's time for hair. Let's free this crazy ass bird's nest. So I mentioned that this is just what my hair goes like now. I think it's just because it's really, really bleached. The first thing I'm going to do is brush it and I just gently make sure everything's free. Now, I don't know if this technique would work if you have super straight hair or, well actually really really curly hair it would work. My hair's actually still a little bit damp. And the three products that I've been really liking are, first is the Whey Rose Hair and Body Oil. So you can use this on your body, you can use it in your hair. This is my second bottle and I use it just all the time for the ends of my hair and then now to do this style as well. And then recently I got a package through from IGK really really cool hair products this one is the mistress hydrating hair balm and this is the rich kid coconut oil gel and i use kind of both of them to be honest so i'll just show you what i do just now you might hate it i'm not gonna lie it's a really simple easy thing for me to do so what you do is you just grab one two three four five six seven eight nine ten pumps of oil rub that in your hands and you just start really going through your hair and i kind of scrunch it with the oil this, this all happened because I got my hair done by Main Addict when I was in New York and this is what she did and I was stressing out man, she was going in to my hair with so much oil, I was like this is just going to look so greasy. Five more pumps and don't be scared to get it up at the root, so I have pretty dry hair naturally anyway, so maybe that's why this works so well. And then also because blonde can look really dry, this gives it separation and texture and makes it look like super shiny. And then now I'm going to go in with some hair balm. This is the mistress one. Just start off small and then with this stuff I kind of go through in sections and then underneath as well a lot because most of my frizz is underneath. Oh, this stuff smells great. I'm gonna get some more of this stuff. When I got my hair done, basically it was clean, we blow dried it, we styled it with curls and then we did this. So this is just playing with the natural texture of your own hair. So if you want to style it, you can. You can put curls through your hair and then do this. And it's just a lot of playing around. I'm gonna go in with the coconut oil gel now. And this stuff's a bit thicker. Your hair smells really good though after doing this. And I'm gonna warm it up in my hands first. And that's pretty much it. I'm not really sure if that counts as a hair tutorial because I know that I basically just put tons of product in my hair to make it look wet. But 
There you go, that's how I do it. Like I said, the girl who did it before styled my hair first into curls and then did it and it looked unreal, it looked really, really good. But for me, someone that's really not good at hair, for day to day, this works totally fine, doesn't bother me at all. And then if you were to slick this all back into like a low bun or even like a low pony, it would look really, really sleek and hydrated and separated and quite cool. So yeah, I hope that counts. So you guys, that is the entire finished look. And other than that, I will see you in the next video. Bye!